Come on, Win. My guys have been Another working outside. doubles for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Oh shit! I, I meant to turn off the radio. I didn't mean to steal. Sorry about that. Okay. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. We've never encountered a fellow vault dweller. Is this Vault 111 you mentioned still operational? Hey, my beer wore off. That's a new one. No. Not anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. What happened there? Did something go wrong? They had us cryogenically frozen in these pods, but something malfunctioned. Oh my god. All those lives lost due to some malfunction? That's unacceptable. I suppose we've been lucky. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. So I've heard. But it's still got a long ways to go. Now, I have work to do. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. All right, so we passed the little uh, Don't make me regret letting you entry know. quest there. Vault no 81 earned 100 age. XP. Impressive. Now this door is open. Ashes. Go in here. Go in the elevator. Ashes, where are you going? Ash! Damn it. Karen's not going to like this. Let me just check out, check out something here. Yeah, my charisma went down to nine, okay. I should have brought another beer. This has never happened. Do I have another beer? Dang it. Okay, after you take the elevator down, Go over this way to a place called the depot. Go on in and speak to Alexis quickly <clears throat> before everything wears off. Hope you got some booze, Alexis. You have need of my help in years. Yeah, yeah. Let's get on with it. I didn't notice. Thanks for being polite. Let me know if there's something I can get for you. I've got a little bit of everything lying around here. When you're dealing with items that are all over 200 years old, work just accumulates like crazy. Some days it's all I can do to keep my head above water. But you probably don't want to hear about all that. No, I don't. I might let's, be let's do business. Buying or selling. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. Dang it. None of these boost the, your charisma. Okay, so I'm shit out of luck. So I'm going to be paying a little more. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, that Excuse was Mr. Me. Fumblefingers. Looking for something? I have yeah. more stuff than I know what to do. Let's see what you got. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. Let's buy this. The Overseer's Guardian. This is a kick-ass. Technically speaking, it's an assault rifle, but I'm going to use it. I'm going to mod it into a sniper rifle. It's a legendary, and it shoots an additional bullet, as you can see. And it. it's got kick-ass damage. This is... Comes with a night vision scope and uh, it's just a beautiful weapon. If you can afford it, I strongly recommend it. So we're going to buy that. Um, I'm also going to buy this. The destroyer's right leg increases the wearer's movement speed by 10%. We can afford that. So take that on. Um, and then we're just going to sell everything that we got on board. That's why I recommended buying, like bringing everything you can. So sell that. Sell all these pistols over to uh did i pick up any uh, no i didn't all the potatoes we could sell those some of this stuff too we can sell i don't need this
And that's about it. So let's do it. Let's complete. Confirm trade. And there we go. We still got 1400 caps left and we got ourselves a new kick-ass weapon. The Overseer's Gardening. Plus, um, some new apparel. Since I'm, this is going to be my new right leg. I should sell my other right leg and get a whopping 16 caps for it. <laughs> okay, that's not going to make a big difference, so forget that. I might need the mods or something. So we're done here. Out we go. Let's go back to Sanctuary and do some modding. Careful outside. Alright, calm down there, calm down. Of course, there's plenty more you can do in Vault 81. And we can come back and do that later, but for now I just wanted the Overseer's Guardian. All right, you sold your mother and father and your bratty little brother into slavery to get together enough funds to buy this exorbitantly priced weapon overseer's garden. Let's mod this sucker up. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it into a sniper rifle and this is gonna be kicking up some mega, mega damage. I highly faster. recommend that you put, quiet, we're doing the walkthrough here. Better off just giving them what they wanted. Is that Marcy? I swear, I gotta take a shotgun and poke it. It is. I should have done more. Okay, tell you what, let's sleep. Marcy's sleeping in my bed. Yay! Okay. Let's just sleep uh, a few hours or an hour or two and get rid of everybody. Everybody go to bed now, okay? It's middle of the night. Go to bed. Let me mod in peace. There we go. Everybody's gone to bed. Okay. Get mod in peace. Okay, now. Overseer's Guardian. Uh, to turn it into a kick-ass sniper rifle, put the... Right now it has the armor-piercing automatic receiver. I highly recommend putting the hardened receiver, which will increase the damage a lot. Damage right now is 55. Put the hardened receiver on; it'll put the, bump up the damage to a whopping 103. So put that sucker on. Back out you go. It only comes with a short barrel by default. Let's slap on a long barrel. And the scope. It comes with a short night vision scope. This you'd have to get up to. Uh, yeah, here we go. This is what you need. These are the perks you need to put this on. Gun Nut Rank 3 and Science Rank 1. Um, I'm not a big fan of the short night vision scope. Let's just show you quickly what it looks like here. There you go. And we should try it during the day, just as an example. I just want to put the short scope on it. It's going to wake everybody up. Okay, you see what I mean? If you're playing during the day, this kind of like, uh, you know, overexposes everything. So, you know, this is not suitable. Okay, so we're going to put another a short scope on it. Keep the short night vision scope for useful. night missions. <laughs> and here everybody's no like, you know. Grown man feeling sorry for himself. Huh. Here we go. Short scope. Unfortunately, we can't put the medium scope because this requires gun nut rank 3, believe it or not. Okay, so we're going to have to settle for a short scope. All right, let's put one of those on, and that is it. That is our new kick-ass sniper rifle. It doesn't have a silent service, so we're still going to keep the silent P-bar on board. Uh, let's rename this sucker the the Overseer's Guardian. I just want to put the in front of it so it groups it together with all the rest of my uh, equipped weapons. All right, so that is that. Um, Let's take out the other, uh, what did I dump off here? The the mighty 10 mil, where is that? Yeah, the mighty powerful 10 mil. The four crank power blast, I want that on board. This I'm gonna sell. So that's that, next. 
Apparel. I have a new destroyer's right leg. Let's just equip all this now so we're not confused about it. And I'm going to rename everything to the. Yeah, that's the one we're not going to put on. Something's missing here. Oh, yeah, the asbestos lined shadow leather chest. <laughs> okay, so that's right. 337610. That's our new gear. And just to avoid confusion, I'm going to rename all this. First of all, transfer in the one I don't use anymore, the ones I'm not using anymore, namely this one. Everything else stays on board. I'm not going to mod anything. Um, can't mod this because we don't have armor or rank 2. I like to put shadowed combat armor on it, which would be perfect for a stealth character, but we can't do that yet. And um, the lighter build, we're short for cork. And we can't take the lighter build off another um, spare leather armor because this is a different kind of armor, so the mods aren't interchangeable. All right, so we're just gonna have to set us be satisfied with that as is for now. Let's rename everything, okay? So it's easy to find in our inventory. Starting with uh, this thing here, I've got a list of names here: the fireproof shadow vessel. So I'm gonna call this the. I'm going to try to leave the names of the mods in my renaming scheme so that you guys know what mods I'm using on everything, alright? Likewise with unique weapons, so I'm just going to call this the Destroyer's Right Leg. Next, uh, the Muffle Shadow Left Arm. I have some limitations to deal with with regards to how many characters you can put in the names. It seems that when it's naturally named, the game allows a much longer name, but when you try to rename it, uh, it shortens that considerably. Right? Lightweight shadowed leather right arm, I'm going to call this uh, the light shadow right arm. The light. There we go. Same with this. The light shadow left leg. And finally, the insulated V111 jump suit. Oh, don't you see? I ran out of space. Okay, so we're going to have to need it. Leave out the jump. The insulated V111 suit. There we go. Okay, so that's it. Everything's been renamed. I dumped off some stuff to go selling. I'm going to take that back on now. Namely, uh, let's take this bubblegum back on. Running low on love flower, I see. Okay. Let's take on a couple of beers. These are always useful. <laughs> These mole rat chunks, take them all on. Where's my rat stacks, too? Yep. Ribeye steak in case I get really badly damaged. And a sweet roll just for good luck. And I think that's about it. Oh, wait a minute. Um, Molotovs. I dumped some Molotovs in here. Did I? Where's my Molotovs? Here. Let's take on two more. I also want a couple of these. And one of these. There we go. That'll work. We're out of here. What's our weight like? About what I expected. I'll clean it up off camera, but that's generally the idea. 
Um, let's hotkey everything. Okay, the penetrator, I want that at number two. I think it is there. Yep. Three is the buckshot shampoo, always. Four, this is the slot that I always reserve for my sniper rifle. So this is my new, my new sniper rifle is the Overseer's Guardian. So let's put that in slot number four. Slot number five, I always reserve for the laser musket, which I call the four crank power blaster. And slot number six is a wild card slot. So let's put, uh, the mighty powerful 10 mil I guess or the silent p-bar yeah let's put the silent p-bar just in case we want to go super super quiet there we go and um, the game seems to always want to put replace my uh, favorited health slot with stim packs Okay, checking out the hotkeys. I'm always glad to see the sun come up one more time. Penetrator, buckshot shampoo, the overseer's guardian, laser musket, silent peeper. Check out the. Just gonna do a quick save here. Check out the recoil on the overseer's guardian and the the fire rate. This is this is just a fantastic weapon. I, I swear. Like I said, sell your mother and your father and your your bratty little brother to get the funds together to buy this weapon because it is worth it. It really makes a difference, especially on higher difficulty settings like very hard and survival. It really helps out a lot tremendously. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, I can level up. So we can now hit really hard, and my agenda has been first to hit hard and then get sneaky. So. Let's get sneakier and get the sneak rank 2 perk and we are done. Coming up next we're going to make the journey to Diamond City. Purpose of this is to open up a whole bunch of vendors. Oops. Okay. Head on down to Diamond City, open up a whole bunch of vendors and complete the Jewel of the Commonwealth quest. Alright, that's coming up next. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. See you next video.